Internet star Trisha Paytas has made a name for herself through vlogging, especially for her infamous mukbangs and shopping haul videos. Wow, these little chicken things. Mm. I just, those are so good. These are like, eh. Not to mention a handful of other projects, which include reality TV, singing, and some acting. Trish is probably my favorite chick on YouTube. She's funny, confident, and doesn't care what people think. Michael and I actually met her when she came to Toronto last year, and I can say she's just as sweet in person. I actually liked her more after meeting her. What's going on, guys and girls? My name's Kara, and this series we've titled Before and After. We're gonna talk about Trisha's cosmetic work, her hair, and her style. I've done other celebrity transformation videos on the likes of Farah Abraham and Gigi Gorgeous. We'll have links to those at the end of this video. If there's anyone else you want me to document in this series, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into into this video. Trisha doesn't hide the fact that she's gotten and continues to get cosmetic work done. If anything, she's proud of it. During her time on Celebrity Big Brother, she even joked, there's not one part of my body that's real. Here we will break down Trisha's beauty transformation over the years and see what she's done to get the look that she has now. Starting with Trisha's cosmetic work, she doesn't appear to have any invasive surgeries on her face, at least not that I'm aware of. However, she does get fillers done in some areas. In a few of her YouTube vids over the years, she's talked about this, including one from last month, where she revealed her new face fillers she got in her cheeks. These are supposed to help with smile lines. Okay, so guess what I had done, what work I had done to my face today. Trisha is also a self-proclaimed fan of lip injections, going so far as to say she's addicted to them. That was so pretty, so we're getting my lips done. I kind of am obsessed, I just keep wanting them bigger and bigger, which said it's normal. I'm just like, I want them as big as possible. She's even documented getting them done on her channel before. You're massaging my lips now. Why do you massage them, Cap? You inject it and then massage it. Why do you do that? Hold it. Hmm? So it's not um, lumpy. Lumpy. Yeah. At one point, she had to get her top lip dissolved and fixed up a bit because it was looking a little off, which was definitely for the best. Trisha's gotten some hate for her lips, which some say are overdone, but she loves them, so that's all that matters. Which I love that look. I like the look of like, oh my god, you're a freak in lips. But I do understand like when it's, oh my god, that looks like. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a YouTuber problem. Anyways, now let's take a look at Trisha's body. So there's no doubt her curvy figure has become part of her signature look, and I think she looks great, even despite all of those mukbangs. Between the boob job, lipo, and fat transfers, there's definitely been some help from cosmetic. Trisha was always insecure about her chest from a young age, admitting in one of her videos, I've wanted surgery since I was 13. One boob was a 36B, while the other was 36D. I've had big boobs since the sixth grade and walked around with double bras on for five years before getting surgery. She got her boobs done when she was 23, and like everything else, she has no problem being open about it with her followers. Trisha has also gotten liposuction. She got lipo in the back of her arms, which she claims were the part of her body that actually caused her the most insecurity. I didn't even think when to get, I've, oh, by the way, first and foremost, always have hated my arms. It's not a thing, because I know everyone, a lot of people tell me, oh my god, her arms are the size of my thighs or whatever. Um, but it's always been insecurity. My arms have definitely gotten worse, but oh my gosh, from when I was seven years old, I, I wouldn't wear short sleeve shirts to school. I wouldn't, I would wear sweatshirts like in the summer when kids were wearing tank tops and stuff to school, I was wearing sweatshirts because I was very self-conscious of my arms at seven years old. Aside from her arms, she also got liposuction on her stomach and back. On her channel, she spoke about her results from the procedure, saying she was super happy with them. So, uh, and I had some popcorn twice at the movie, so no butter though, but so it wasn't perfect, but I don't think I fucked up my results all that much. To me, like I said, I still like the recovery for liposuction is pretty strict, and there are dietary rules you have to follow. Like you can't just go and eat junk food, not exercise, and expect to keep the fat off. However, since Trisha's kind of famous for eating, she obviously got some judgment when it seems she went back to unhealthy eating habits shortly after the lipo. I eat really healthy. I eat really healthy. <laughs> I've been eating clean. This is Trish being Trish. Trisha mentioned getting her butt done in her lipo videos as well. And this procedure is called a Brazilian butt lift which have become more popular in recent years. According to the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery, a Brazilian butt lift is a specialized fat transfer procedure that augments the size and shape of the buttocks without implants. Excess fat is removed from the hips, abdomen, lower back, or thighs with liposuction, 
and a portion of this fat is then strategically injected into the buttock. Essentially, Trisha stated she wanted to get this done, not because she was ever insecure about her butt, but because it was trendy. Similar to how she decided to get lip injections, she liked the look that a butt lift gave, and seeing more women with them inspired her to make some changes as well. For me, I loved the aesthetic lately of these big, maybe I follow way too Instagram models, but I like the big hips and the big butt, and kind of same thing with lips, and I know, again, this is, I'm just being completely real. I'm not saying like, jump on the bandwagons, but. She said that the recovery period was also pretty long for this procedure, explaining you can't wear pants for a while and it's hard to sit down normally. Surgeons recommend that you avoid driving for several weeks afterwards, and sitting and lying on the area directly for prolonged amounts of time should be off limits for at least three weeks. Does it leave it firm, jiggly, or a little bit of both? Well, like I said, I'm five weeks and it's, it's firm. Anyways, Trisha said that although it wasn't painful for her, she wouldn't get it done again. She was expecting more extreme results. I guess she wanted an even bigger booty. Moving on to Trisha's hair and makeup style, one thing I can really relate with is her love for platinum blonde hair. She's had the fake blonde hair forever, and I don't blame her for wanting to keep it that way. She wears extensions to make it as long as it is, and her natural hair is short. Although Trisha has no shame filming her vlogs all natural, she never fails to impress with great makeup looks as well. These are just some of my faves. I think she's always so glam. I would describe Trisha's style as girly with lots of pink sparkles and bling in her wardrobe. Definitely a piece you walk around with and people are going to be like, oh, where did you get that bag? I love crazy tacky over the top things, obviously. <laughs> um, okay, this is so random, but this I got from Vons, a grocery store here in LA. I feel like maybe it's from her videos, you can tell the girl loves anything expensive, designer, and flashy. However, she also does shopping haul videos for spots like Target, Kmart, and affordable online stores. She even loves Disney stuff like me. It has like glitter specks in it. It's really, really cute. I love mini book bags. This one said Ferris, one of Ollie. It just was super adorable with little Snow White. I love Snow White. So although it may seem Trisha has had a lot of work done or that she's fake, she stays the same open, bubbly Trish that we all love. She's even said on an Instagram caption about her boob job. I'm always super honest about the work I've had Done. I'm all about loving yourself, but I'm also a firm believer if you're unhappy with something, fix it. But do it for you and only you. I think it's great that she shares her experiences with her followers and isn't scared to be open. Trisha's created a unique style and is always herself, whether people criticize her or not. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and After. If you want to talk more about her transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. No dick pics, please. Let me know who else you'd like me to make a Before and After video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.